In this video, I'll show you how to create custom tapered threads in Fusion 360 using the coil tool. Select coil. I'll show you how to do it the right way. If you just select the top of the pipe or the object and say you want it 26 millimeters, I select the height and pitch function. Go negative 50 and about negative 3.5. Select the Make sure it's joined and not cut. Well, you see, you have a nice thread here, but it's sitting at the top of, sitting above the the end of the pipe. So you can delete this, offset the plane, select the top of this and go like negative two to offset the plane two millimeters down from the top. Then create your coil, select the plane that you offset, select the middle, go 26 millimeters, and pitch and height, height and pitch, negative 50, negative 5, negative 3. So this offsets the threads to start below the surface. But now you have these ugly ends of the thread. And I will show you how to blend this end of the thread into the surface of the pipe. So you go to Construct, Plane Along Path, and you select this surface right there and then you move the plane all the way out to the end but you see there's a problem with this face right here the face is not perpendicular with this line this face right here sits kind of at an angle so hit cancel go back to construct plane along path and select this bottom line move it all the way to the end so now you know the plane is perpendicular with this thread right here click OK go to split body select the thread then select the plane and that will cut this face then you can delete that face and now you have a face on the end of the thread which is perpendicular with these lines and you would do that for each one of these threads the top and the bottom but I'm only going to show you how to do the uh, top one but what that does is splits your drawing in two so now you have two separate drawings and all this is split so you got to recombine these select everything Go to Modify, Combine, make sure it's Join, and now everything's one solid piece. Even though these lines look like they're still split, they aren't. So if I select this and go Press Pull, go like 0.5, everything will get pressed, you know, offset. Go to Construct, go plane along path and select this line right here at the root of the thread and for the distance if you select zero it'll put it at the bottom of that line if you select one it'll put it at the top of the line so you want it in the middle so you put 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that's directly in the middle and then you go project and you select the plane that you want then you select this outer edge of the thread right here and then you can uh, select OK 
and select your line tool click and hold to make a curved line then release it and make a straight line and then go to the top view and then try to get a line that is 90 degrees and then so that closes the sketch and the inside of this right here is shaded and then click tangent and select this curve and this line to make sure these are tangent with each other select your dimension tool make this about an eight it all depends upon your drawing um, or how sharp of a taper you want select your dimension tool again and set the angle on this to about 60 may or may not need to go bigger or smaller might have to be more aggressive angle but see how this separated right there click coincidence click that and click that and it should close that up you can make the radius smaller make the bend a little sharper put this about a six and then change that to about 60 there we go let's make this about 55 now you see how the end of this goes into the side so it's in the side of the pipe and that's what you want for it to kind of blend in you have to adjust your radius if it's too big you'll never touch the side of the drawing or the side of the pipe right here it doesn't matter so it's a radius and this angle and that'll make for a good taper but you just have to play with the settings um, bigger the radius, bigger the angle, basically. See, if you go too high on your radius, then the line will never intersect with this. So you have, probably have to increase You see how it goes into the side of that now and so you select these two lines that are inside and make them a construction line so they're hidden and click stop sketch so now you have a line that is let's see if I can get this aligned here that is uh, aligned with the threads and that's where you can make your taper at next you create a sweep you select the face of the thread and join and then select the path and click OK you see it makes a nice tapered thread if you get anything coming through the back you can just delete it 
should not uh, trash the outside drawing. If it does, then something's wrong with your entire geometry of your drawing. But now you have a nice clean thread taper going into the surface and now you can come back and edit the plane that you made and say you want it offset 0.8 and that'll put the thread at the very top you come in select the edge of the thread and press pull and you can taper the thread so it's a little easier to print and for that you have to select multiple line segments on the taper that you created do another press pull and if you get this error just go like 0 0.01 down from what it was you know I put did these threads right here 0.5 and this is 0.49 and your printer will not even be able to print that fine of a, a offset I mean you can barely even see it here in, in Fusion 360 why it gives you that error I don't know but that is how you create a custom thread and taper it and optimize it for 3d printing